Okay, guys, welcome to this introduction to AutoCAD. So in our first video, we, you learned how to log into AutoCAD. And so now you're going to be learning about what AutoCAD is about. So the, when you first open it up, you're going to notice this toolbar up here. It may seem overwhelming at first, but it is not. Most of the tools that you see here, you've seen before, right? So you've seen all these tools when you've used Google SketchUp, when you use PowerPoint, when you've used Google Sheets, right? And so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about all of these different tools. So we, when, when you start on the top right here, you're going to see that there's different tabs. So each tab opens up a ribbon. OK, and you can see that when you look at the ribbon, it's divided up into panels. OK, and so this right here is our drawing panel, our modification panel, annotation panel, layers panel and so on. OK, the other thing that you're going to notice is that we also have a ribbon on the bottom. And the important parts of this ribbon on the bottom is the 2D snap reference points and your snap reference lines. Okay, so the other part right here is the snap mode. And so we are gonna turn on our snap mode. Make sure your snap mode is turned on if yours is not. The next thing I want you guys to do is we're gonna go up here and hit sign in. And now we're going to sign into an Autodesk account. Now for you guys at home, this is where you can be setting up your account. So you're gonna to go to create account and then you're gonna answer the questions. Now the email that you use to set up your Autodesk account needs to be a personal email. It cannot be a school email because remember your school emails cannot receive outside emails from outside the district. So you need to use a personal email. So for me, I'm gonna sign in right now. I can use my school email because I can receive outside emails from outside the district. I'm gonna sign into my account real quick. And so I want to make sure you guys sign in that way that when you save your documents, it's going to be saving it to your profile. OK, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go up here to new. We're going to create a new document and we're going to be using the ACAD DWT. OK, that is for U.S. standard. If you use ACAD ISO, that's going to be European standard. So that's going to be on the metric system. If we start off with AKDWT, that's going to be US metric. It's going to be inches first. OK, so we're going to hit open. So the next thing I want you guys to notice is down here, we have our origin point here in the corner. And so to move that origin point, the X and Y axis to the center of your screen, you can do it one of two ways. You can go right here to the corner. You can click on the center of your mouse button. It's going to open up a hand and then you can drag that over to the center of your screen. The other way that you can do it is you can go over here to the corner where it says top. You can click that and that's going to automatically center your X and Y axis on the center of your screen. Next point I want you guys to notice is the command line. The command line is where you're going to be typing in your commands or where it's going to give you instructions when you click on certain tabs or tools. OK, so let's look up here. We can go up to our line. When I click on the when I hover over the line tool, it's going to tell me exactly what that tool is used for. It's going to give me an example. When I click on that line tool and I come over here, you can see that it, it's going to give me my point selection cursor. And it's also going to show me my dynamic input tool tip. OK, so that dynamic input tool tip is going to be for where you put in your measurements, your distances that you want to draw and so on. And then your point, you can sound you can see on our command line, it says specify first point. OK, and so we're going to just draw a line here. So we're going to specify our first point and then we're going to type in five. That's going to be five inches. We don't have to put inches because it's in inches. And then we're going to hit enter. OK, and so when I draw this line right here, well, let's draw it this direction. When I draw this line right here, it's going to give me a five inch line. OK, now once you are inside of your tool, if you want to get off that tool and select a different tool, you can hit your escape button on your keyboard and that's going to hit your that's going to escape you off that tool and then you can select your next tool. OK, now, if you make mistakes, say I drew this line and I didn't want to draw it, I can go up here to my back button. And when I hit that button, it's going to undo what I drew, what I just drew. So that is your introduction. 
I want you guys to kind of look through these tools right now for about a couple of minutes. Look through these tools, try to play around a little bit. And then we're going to start with today's drawing, which is going to be a blueprint, simple blueprint of our front view model. So go ahead and do that for a couple of minutes and I'll come back when you guys are done. Okay, I'm back. And so now let's look at what we're drawing today. So open up your drawing from your Schoology page and you're going to see example one. If you're doing this from YouTube, this is also going to be attached in the comments section. So if you want to do this on your own, you can. And so example one is showing a front view of a model. And so this is from an isometric or a multi-view drawing, but we're only going to be doing the front view for today just to make it simple. So we're going to start off by looking at our different measurements. So we have two inches, 1.5 inch, three inches, right? And then our circle radius is going to be 0 0.5. So the first number that we're going to be drawing is from the the bottom, we're going to go from our origin point, we're going to draw two inches, and then we're going to draw a, a three inch line. So let's go back to our to our app. And so the first thing that we're doing is we're going to be selecting our line tool. So let's go ahead and go up here to our line tool. So you have your line tool selected, you can see it says specify first point. So we're going to go from the edge of our origin point. And we're going to be drawing a three inch line straight up. So go ahead and type in three. Make sure that you. And you can see that it went off. The angle. So let's do that one more time. So we're going to be going from the origin point. Make sure you have your line tool selected, guys. And so you're going to type in three when you get onto that origin point, and it's going to be straight up and down. So make sure it's straight up and down when you're when you're drawing this line in, right? So straight up and down, three, enter. That's going to draw you that three inch line. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit escape and I'm going to go back over to my line tool. And so remember, we just drew this this line right here. And so now we're going to be drawing this line right here. Okay, so we're going to come back down here. And you can see that we made an error here. So let's go back and fix that real quick. So from my from my origin point, going up, I'm going to do two, and then I'm going to hit escape. And now I'm going to do three. Here we go. Okay, so now you're going to see right here, this is why that this is why that snap reference line is so important to have on, because as I come over here to the edge, it's going to snap me right to that corner, right? And so now this one is going to be three inches. Okay, and so now I'm going to hit escape, and you're going to see that I can zoom out now. And that's going to give me my shape that I want, right? So now to recenter the screen again, you can go over here to the top and hit that top view and it's going to center you based on the size of your shape that you're drawing. Okay, so the next shape that we're going to be drawing is 1.5 inches and one inch, right? So we're going to do the 1.5 first and then the one. So we'll come back over here to the line tool, snap to our edge right here, then draw that 1.5 inches, 1.5, and then hit the enter key. Okay, then we're going to hit escape. Select your line tool one more time. And select this line right here. We're going to type in one, hit enter. And so now the last thing that we have to do is connect our two lines, right? So we're going to go from that one inch to our 1.5. And you can see where the snap references are going to be. So you're going to snap reference there. And now you have your first shape that you've drawn in AutoCAD. So we're going to hit a, we're going to hit escape. Now we're going to go back up here and look at our reference drawing. OK, so now we have to draw this circle. Now, the challenge is to get the center of where that circle is going to be. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to we're going to add a layer. OK, so you're going to go up here to layers. 
You're going to click on layer properties. It's going to open up this menu here. You're going to right click and you're going to put new layer. Now, when you type in new layer, we're going to name that layer construction one. So C O N S T one. And then we're going to choose the color as yellow. Okay. And that's going to put a construction line layer on the back of our original white drawing layer. So once you have that construction layer finished and you've selected yellow, you're going to go over here to the X and hit close. And so now when I come over here, I'm going to select construction line. Okay. And now I'm going to draw some construction lines. They're going to help guide me to where I need to draw that circle. So next thing I'm going to come over here to my drawing tab. I'm going to click on this one right here where it's construction line. So it creates a line of infinite length. And so now I'm going to be adding some construction lines onto my drawing. So I'm going to go over here to my edge and I'm going to draw my construction, my first construction line, infinite, infinite line, click on it. Now I'm going to come back over to here to my reference origin point and I'm going to draw a horizontal line. Okay. So now I'm going to hit escape. Now I have my first two construction lines drawn. Now let's look back over here to my drawing. So I need to draw, I need to have construction lines that are going to be 1.5 inches and one inch up, right? So 1.5 inches from the edge and one inch up. That's going to give me my cross reference point where I can draw that ref that circle from. So now what I'm going to do is come back over here. I'm going to go to my offset tool. So when you come up here to the offset tool, you can see it creates concentric circles, parallel lines, or parallel curves. What it's basically doing is copying that, that line and then moving it a specified distance. So I'm going to click on here where it says offset. And now you can see down here on our command line, it says specify offset distance. And so our first distance that we're going to be specifying is the 1.5. So I'm going to type in 1.5, hit enter. And so now when you, when you do that, it says now select object to offset. So now I'm going to select this construction line. And when I click on that line, I can choose which direction to offset on. So you can see I'm going to offset this direction, which is on our drawing, right? And so now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come back up here, hit offset. It says specify distance. Now I'm going to go one inch. So one, right? Now it says select object. I'm going to select that bottom line and then put it here, right? And so now what does that do? Now I'm going to hit escape. That gives me my center point where I need to draw my radius of my circle, right? So now we have our center point done. Now we're going to go up to our circle tool and we're going to specify our, our radius, right? So intersection. So I'm going to click on my circle tool and then I'm going to type in the radius. So it says specify my radius. It's 1.5. Hit the enter. And then you can see that that was not the radius, right? So let's go back. And so now we're going to do that one more time. Let's check our, let's check our drawing. Oh, it's 0.05. Oh, ha -ha. all right. So let's click on that center radius point one more time. Radius out. Okay. Specify radius 0 0.5. Big difference. Hit enter and boom. Okay. So now we have our radius in. Okay. And so now we're going to do the same thing with our white layer. Okay. And so we're going to click on here into our center point, right? Make sure your circle is selected. Now, if you make a mistake, say sometimes you make mistakes, right? You're going to hit the undo. If you hit undo, you hit the back button, it's going to delete it. So now let's go up here. We're going to select our white layer, which is going to be our drawing layer. And we're going to select that again. And so now we're going to draw this. Oh. Let's make sure that that is selected exactly in the center of our area right here. So you can see where it, the X intersection is. So now you're going to select that. Hit enter, and then you have your drawing done. Now, what you can do now is you can go back up here. You can turn off your construction lines, right? And so that's our drawing. So this is our drawing that we're doing. The only thing we have left now is to identify our dimensions. 
So now we're going to come back into our drawing. We're going to go over here to where our dimension tool is, right? And so we're going to click on this line, click on this line, and that's going to specify that dimension, right? Click on it. So let's do this. So make sure you have your dimension tool selected. So we're bringing this one first, and then we're going to do this one. And then we're going to do our bottom line. Click on it. And then all we got left is this line right here. One inch. Boom. And so the only dimension that we have left now is our radius right and so what we're going to do is we're going to go to this leader right we're going to click on leader we're going to click on the down arrow we're going to hit the leader button okay and then from that center point we're going to click on it and it's going to draw an arrow and now we're going to type in 0 0.5 and then click your button and then now we're done okay so now we have all of our dimensions labeled. We have all of our drawing complete. The only thing that now that you have to do is you have to screenshot this. So you can use your snipping tool and you're going to put that into today's assignment and submit. If you have any questions, let me know. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I will talk to you guys later.